dun, 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 dun. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Do, 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 do. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario 64. Uh, last time we trounced Bowser in the uh, Dark World stage. We got the key to the basement, did some pre-basement exploring, and now we're ready to continue on with Course 5. But where is Course 5? Well, as you know, this ghost over here is uh, in the hallway. He doesn't actually appear until you have 12 stars, so technically you could do this level with the... Uh, first floor stuff, but I always consider this level part of the second floor. But anyway, as you can see, we're out in the courtyard where there's a lot of ghosts. Again, until that ghost appears, this is not going to be the case. And uh, a lot of these ghosts have coins. However, there is one ghost who doesn't. I think it's this one. Yeah, this ghost has a gazebo of some kind. Well, if we ground pound it, we'll open up this little gazebo. And if we touch it, we'll go into World 5, Big Boo's Haunt. And today, we're going to go on a ghost hunt. Isn't that so much fun? Come on in here. <laughs> oh, boy. This level is actually pretty creepy, I have to admit. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, like horror slasher movie or anything like that, but for a video game, this is actually pretty intense, I have to admit. Especially with the music. The music is just kind of like, eh, oh my god. Anyway, we're gonna go on a ghost hunt, so every time we see a ghost, we're going to smash it. Like this one. Ghosts don't die. Heh <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? And we're going to hear that a number of times, so I'm not going to repeat that every single time. But anyway, yes, we have to kill all of the ghosts. I believe there are five in total. Maybe six, but I think there's only five. And you can really see what this level's about. There's a lot of uh, spooky things, a lot of drop-offs, a lot of uh, platforming elements. This level is pretty intense, I have to admit. Okay, we should have two more. We're going to explore all the rooms before I uh, do anything else. Because in here, we actually have a piano. Awesome, I love pianos. There's actually a red coin behind it, too. How nice. Well, I feel like playing a tune. Let's go in front of it and... Oh god, it's an enemy! Yeah, meet the mad piano. The mad piano is an enemy that actually kind of freaked me out when I was younger. So, yeah, you got to be very careful with him. Anyway, the last two ghosts will actually come from this uh, Boo portrait right here. Uh, just wait for them to appear. Yep, there they are. And after you uh, destroy all the ghosts, boom! Here comes the Master of Mischief, the Tower of Terror, the Big Boo. <laughs> okay, so yes, we have the Big Boo. How frightening. It's not like we've seen a Big Boo before. So yeah, uh, Big Boo, you destroy him in basically the same way you destroy any other ghost. Only difference, you have to do this three times. And he actually becomes easier the more hits you give him because he becomes smaller. And after that, we have our Power Star, so there we go. And that will actually do it for that power star. So let us grab it, hit the ceiling with our head, and do more of this level. Also, this uh, little uh, thing right here, if I uh, remember correctly, let me destroy these ghosts first. But there is actually a thing with that statue. If I remember correctly. Let me get closer. Destroy you. Destroy you. There we go. That should do it. Let's take a closer look at this statue right here. It says, L is real. 
2,401, I think. Uh, I don't know if that's the right number, but basically, more things that actually speculate that Luigi was a secret character in this game. I uh, don't know anything too much about all of the uh, different theories, but it is linked to the whole Luigi thing, and kind of a, a link to that Luigi and that um, Jolly Roger Bay box, too. I just remember going to a website long ago, and I had a bunch of Luigi theories, and that box in Jolly Roger Bay was one of them. The star that I just looked at involved it as well, so yeah, there's a lot of different theories. Anyway, star number two, Ride Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round. So yes, Big Boo is not completely dead yet. In fact, he's actually up there, but um, there's actually a second Big Boo as well. We're going to go inside this shed. Why? Because why not? We're going to take the elevator down. We're going to be completely impatient and not wait for it. And we're going to go venture into the damp, flooded basement. Why in the hell would we do such a thing? Because the game pretty much encourages us to. So about Big Boo's merry-go-round, this is it. It's a wooden platform filled with booze and other spooky things. I believe one of these paintings actually shoot out fire. But basically what you want to do is you want to pound all the ghosts again. Okay, there's the fire one. And after you do that enough time, look who returns. It's Big Boo again. So we have to defeat him in the exact same way. Also, this is probably the easiest mission to get 100 coins, just because whenever you destroy a boo, you automatically get 5 coins, and there's a lot of other enemies that also give off 5 coins too, so... Yeah, there's a lot of uh, 100 coin opportunities in this level. This is probably the easiest level to get 100 coins, in all honesty. But yeah, there we go. That was Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round. So, let's go back to the level again. I think we should be able to complete this level fully in this video, much like we've been doing with the rest of the levels so far. So, yes, let's uh, go inside here once again. And now we have Secret of the Haunted Books. Oh, goody. I love a good haunted book. Well, now that we've explored the uh, first floor and the uh, little basement area, Let's now explore the second floor. Now for the most part, a lot of these second floor rooms are just going to be higher variations of the rooms before. That's just a balcony. Uh, we'll go inside this room later. This is just the second floor of the room below us with uh, a red coin. Yeah, that's basically what we get from this room. Nothing too special. And here we have a room with dead bodies. I know, fun. And in this room we have something else that we'll uh, kind of explore later on. For now, let's actually uh, do what we actually have to do. We need to go inside this room right here. And we'll be in the library where books will want to kill us for some reason. And now we have a little puzzle right here. Okay, that is incorrect. You want to hit this one, this one, and this one. Once you do that, the bookcase will move. You have a door you can enter, and there's your power star. Very quick star mission. A lot of these missions are very quick, though, so I'm not surprised. And because I'm pretty sure it's the next one... Looks like we're going to be doing the 100 coin mission next, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Um, and yeah, you guys can just watch as I do this, and I'll collect the red coins along the way. So, yes, uh, see you guys whenever I'm ready. Can I stop getting hit by this stupid ghost? Okay, there we go. Okay, so 100 coin mission plus red coin mission, start.
Okay, uh, these boxes are really cool. Grab the box, and it'll, uh, launch you up, and coins will fall out. I wish they wouldn't have fallen on the roof, though, but, uh, and yeah, we'll get a few of them, I guess. Would have been nice if I could actually collect all of them, though, but oh well. Anyway, continue with the speed up. Okay, as you guys remember, first red coin behind this piano. And I'll go ahead and keep the commentary going because we have two red coins in here as well. Kill those bookends because the bookends give five coins, so very good enemies. But yeah, we have red coin number two right there. And there's also a third red coin on this bookshelf, so there we go. Red coin number four in this room right here. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the commentary on for the rest of this mission because uh, basically the rest of the things we're going to collect are red coins and uh, we're going to be going through certain rooms anyway, so we might as well just leave it on. Anyway, red coin number five is in this room like I pointed out earlier. Not a very hard coin to get. Red coin number six and seven is actually in the room with dead bodies. Also, this giant eyeball... Uh, to actually defeat him, uh, first you have to get him to actually focus on you. Come on. Okay, there we go. And then just run a circle around him and he'll, uh, get confused and he'll give you a blue coin. So that's how you work with those. Anyway, in here we have, uh, sarcophaguses. Uh, there are two red coins in here. And now we only have one red coin left and it's in a very easy position. Or at least you would think it would be. Also, we have a few more bookends. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with them. And there's the last red coin. And with that, the power star will appear in the other room. Before we do, though, and we're going to have to do this for the last two missions, but there is actually another section of the house, the third floor. And in here, we have a blue switch. And... This blue switch is going to give us the last of the coins we need to get the power star, so all right for that. So yes, there's 100 coins, and now we can just get the star from the red coins, and then we'll be done. And then we can do the last two missions. Last two missions are actually pretty simple, so thankfully we won't have to do very much for those. So yes, there's our power star. And we have seeked the eight red coins. Alrighty. And anyway, let's uh, continue on. <clears throat> star number five, Big Boo's Balcony. Now, when I was younger, I actually hated this star. Uh, one, because I sucked at wall jumping, so it was kind of hard to get to the star in the first place. And two, I hate the ending for the star mission. You guys are going to see why. But anyway, like I showed before, we need to uh, wall jump up to the third floor. Not very hard to do. And if we go out this door, we'll be right on the balcony, and look who it is, back for one last round. It's the Big Boo. And once you do that, the star will appear on top of the house. How do we get to the top of the house? Well, you can barely see it. There is actually a straight slope on uh, the two sides of this house. So let's uh, do that, climb up here, and it didn't work. And, okay, well, I fell. Uh, hold on a second, guys. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, maybe this platform is not as thin as I think it would be, but from there it actually looks pretty thin, you have to admit. Anyway, what we have to do right here is we have to actually do a very long crawling section. How do you crawl? Well, hold the Z button and then just move the control stick and Mario can crawl. That's basically about it. So now we're going to crawl on the roof all the way to the star. And that's basically how we do this. Yeah, very exciting, isn't it? But yeah, I really hated that because it's such a very, like, awkward jump to make, especially since you're essentially jumping to a higher position than uh, you are when you make the jump. Anyway, that should about do it. You get a one-up right here for your troubles. And Power Star collected. And with that, we can do another mission. And this will be the last mission of the level. Very simple. We have to do the same basic premise at first. We have to make it to the third floor. However, this time we have to make it to the third floor on a time crunch. What do I mean by this? Well, first of all, let's get to the right room. We're going to want to go into the room that we have been going into the last few times. All the way on this side. Destroy the bookends just to get them out of your way. And then if you go in this door over here, you'll actually see a vanish cap block. Now here's where the time crunch starts. You have to grab the vanish cap, run back into this room, make that wall jump, Go inside this room, and then make it all the way to the ghost painting before the vanish cap runs out. And in here we have, well we have a ghost, and we also have Big Mr. Eye. A bigger version of the eyeball enemy we've already fought a few times. But you pretty much fight him and beat him in the same way. And once you do, you get a power star. So there, that's going to do it for Big Boost Haunt, which means I think I'm going to end the video here. This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Super Mario 64. I will see you guys next time when we do more of the basement. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Later, folks.